This amazing journey began one Saturday morning several months ago when I received a call from some very dear friends of mine. They were breaking ground on their farm for a new garden bed when they found something they thought that I might find interesting. When they described what they had found, I was intrigued and asked if they could send me some photographs. When I saw the photos, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. I told my friends that if it was okay with them, I would like to come and see the items for myself. I asked if they could hold off on the garden plans for a few days and thankfully they agreed. I immediately packed my bags and traveled to their farm. I performed some very preliminary excavations and to be honest, it took my breath away. I knew I had to call my good friend and associate, Pete Reynolds, to solicit his opinion and expertise. I took several photographs and made the call. I must admit that when Dr. Kramer called, I was interested but remained somewhat skeptical. Through the years, we have found compelling evidence of advanced turtle civilizations in several parts of the world, but nothing like what she was describing. Then I looked at the photographs Pamela sent me. It was the definitive eureka moment that every turtleologist dreams of. I told her I'd be there as quickly as possible. I called my office, told them to put everything else on hold and send me the most elite excavation team that was available. Pete arrived the next day and 18 of the best site diggers in the world arrived over the course of the next several days. Pamela is the best in the world when it comes to archaeological site excavations. Her team laid out their grid and got to work. She and I were like little kids on Christmas morning as artifact after artifact came to life. Over time it became abundantly clear that this was the most significant archaeological discovery in history. Nothing else even comes close. What this site proves is that advanced turtle civilizations existed much earlier than we knew up until this point. This previously undiscovered turtle civilization had domesticated horses, had mastered the ceramic arts, and had crafted ingenious weapons made out of copper, brass, bronze, tin, iron, and even smudge proof stainless steel. Some have compared the artifacts found at this site to the terracotta army that was discovered in China in 1974. Those sculptures depicted the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. That site dates back to 210 BC, and so it's around 2,200 years old. We can definitively state that this is a false equivalence in many ways. First and foremost, we used carbon dating to determine that the turtle army was created around 3,000 years ago, making it at least 800 years older than the terracotta army. Pit number one at the Terracotta Army site contains more than 6,000 figures and ground penetrating radar shown that the size of the overall site is approximately 38 miles square. By comparison, ground penetrating radar used at the Turtle Army site has established an overall size of nearly 100 square miles containing over 50,000 life-size turtles. Much has been made of the detail found on the terracotta army figures, and indeed, it is impressive. However, the exquisite craftsmanship displayed in the turtle army soldiers is absolutely breathtaking. Every soldier was individually sculpted in porcelain, ornately decorated with vibrant ceramic glazes, and then fired to a temperature of around 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. The skilled artisans that sculpted the figures were careful to make every soldier absolutely unique. Their lifelike appearance coupled with their fierce warrior countenances is truly something to behold. Evidence strongly suggests that the craftsmen that applied colors to the terracotta army figures tried to copy the decorative glazes applied to the turtle army. Over time, the terracotta army colors have faded badly, but even the most optimistic renderings of what the figures might have originally looked like don't come anywhere near the vibrant and realistic colors of the turtle army. We are keeping the location of the Turtle Army a closely guarded secret. Curious individuals flocking to the area would impede our important excavation work and would compromise the overall integrity of the site. In addition, my friends have relocated their tomato garden to another location and we cannot risk curious but careless tourists trampling over their tomato plants. 
Having said that, we are excited to share information about the Turtle Army with the general public. To that end, both Pete and I will be publishing multiple scholarly research papers on the Army. In addition, we have made arrangements to ship several Turtle Army soldiers to the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., as well as the St. Louis Art Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. It will literally take years to completely analyze the mysteries of the Turtle Army and understand the far-reaching implications of this find. Our understanding of advanced turtle civilizations has already been advanced exponentially and will only continue to grow over time. Oh,